Good day everyone and welcome back to Ace Trainer Australia. My name is Bodie Cutler and today I am here bringing you another Sun and Moon deck type video. This time we are going to be looking at Latios EX Decidui GX. Now looking at Latios and Decidui, you may originally notice that the deck is running very few supporters and we're going to get into that in a moment. But the overall objective of this deck is that it is in its nature a donk deck, a deck that is trying to knock out your opponent on the first turn of the game or over the first few turns of the game before they can draw cards, before they can set up their strategy. Let's move over to the deck list now. Latios EX is a 170 HP dragon type Pokemon whose first attack we will be using for the majority of our games. Latios EX's fast raid is 40 damage and can be used on the first turn of the game. So being able to use an attack before your opponent has drawn a card and before the regular parameters of the game kick in, where you cannot usually attack on the first turn of the game, is very strong and will continue to be strong with the rest of our strategy. So the next uh, thing we're going to look at is 444 Decidui GX and Decidui's ability we have spoken about on this channel before and you probably will have seen Decidui in some factor. Once, you, once during your turn when your Decidui is on your bench or active, you can put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, being able to combine this with cards that we will talk about like Level Ball and Forest of Giant Plants and Devolution Spray is really going to stack up a lot of damage going forward. The deck also plays two Shaman EX to be able to cycle through. Uh, it's very important to note that this deck doesn't play Skyfield, so you won't always get a dream bench of four Decidui GX because you will be using Shaman to cycle in the early turns and the very first turn of the game, especially where you want to draw as many cards as possible to try and knock your opponent out on the first turn of the game. The next thing we're going to talk about is the fact that there's only six supporters in this deck and that there are no Versus Seeker. Now, not having any Versus Seeker in this deck may seem like a negative strategy going into the later stages of the game, but the main idea of the deck is not to make it to the later stages of the game. Four Sycamore, one N, one Lysander. After some tests, potentially N and Lysander aren't even necessary for this deck, but that is something that you can test for yourselves. Three Rainbow Energy, three Rainbow Energy now to be able to use Latios's Fast Raid or Decidui GX's GX attack to be able to put items back into your hand. Decidui's GX attack in the middle stages and the later stages of the game can get you three Devolution Spray, it can get you Devolution Sprays and Puzzle of Times back to be able to reuse strategies over and over again and do that last little bit of damage to knock your opponent out. Three Double Dragon Energy. Uh, the Double Dragon Energy are in this deck in case you need to use Latios' second attack, Light Pulse. It does 110 damage which combined with three Decidui on your field is 170 and will knock out and one of your opponent's EX Pokemon on one turn. Moving into the items now, we have four Puzzle of Time. Puzzle of Time, of course, being able to use two of them at once to recover your strategy. The majority of what you are going to be Puzzle of Timing in this deck is Devolution Spray. You are also getting trainers mails and acrobikes. Sometimes you may even be getting pieces of your Decidui line to continue to attack your opponent and to continue to do damage on the original turns of the game. Four Ultra Ball, quite standard. We want to be able to look through our deck as quickly as possible. If we're starting with just a Rowlet, we want to be able to find Latios. If we're starting with Latios and Rowlet, we want to be finding Shaman, etc, etc. The deck doesn't really uh, care what cards it's losing. A lot of the time you will discard energy, you will discard your supporters, you might even uh, discard cards like Fighting Fury Belt and Escape Rope just to search through your deck as quickly as possible. Four Devolution Spray is really where the idea of the deck comes to fruition. The main goal of Devolution Spray is to reuse your Decidui turns that you play them due to Forest of Giant Plants' ability to ignore Evolution, you can evolve up to Decidui, Devolution Spray, and put Decidui back down 
to do 40 damage instead of 20 during one turn with one Decidueye. Now, for Trainer's Mail, again, another reason to search the deck. Acrobike, four of, of course, to go through your deck as quickly as possible and find the combo pieces that you need. In all, this deck is a very combo-oriented deck. You need Forest of Giant Plants, you need Devolution Spray, so Acrobike and Trainer's Mail will help you find these pieces. Three Forest of Giant Plants is an interesting choice because this very well could be four, and there's even, after testing the deck, it could be two. Now, the reason why that we have stuck with three Forest of Giant Plants is because the deck needs to play one on the first turn of the game, and three is the most consistent way to find that without worrying about your prize cards. Three Level Ball is another very strong card. It's a strong search card. Being able to get both Rowlet and Dartrix from your uh, deck with the search of one card is much better than Ultra Ball, and doesn't mean you have to waste Ultra Balls on Rowlets or Dartrixes in the early game. Two Fighting Fury Belt is there to add damage to Latios. It turns your 160 damage turn into 170 damage turn, where you can knock out your opponent's EX if possible. It also turns 230 damage into 240, potentially knocking out GXs in a longer stage of the game. Now, the last two cards, Revitalizer and Escape Rope. Revitalizer, of course, puts two Grass Pokemon from your discard pile back in your hand. If you have to Ultra Ball away Decidueye and Dartrix or Rowlets in the early game, Revitalizer is going to bring them straight back into your hand, and with Forest of Giant Plants, you can play them straight down. Escape Rope, starting Rowlet, or in the unlucky circumstance that you start Shaman, you will be able to get it out of the active and replace it with Latios to be able to attack turn 1. Let's talk now about the positives and negatives of this deck. So the ability, of course, with well, a big positive, is the ability to do over 150 damage on the first turn of the game before your opponent has even drawn a card, as I mentioned earlier. This is very strong. Being able to knock out your opponent's low HP basic Pokemon, or even potentially knocking out their soul EX Pokemon, is going to prove very powerful. After 40 test draws of this deck, I want to share my averages with you guys, and I will leave my math in the description of this video. So after a total of 40 test draws, my average damage on turn one was 128.5 or rounded up the 130 damage on the first turn of the game. Now, my best after 40 test draws was 270 damage on the first turn of the game. That is with, I believe, pretty much what I would consider to be the perfect draw of the deck where you where you use all four devolution spray and you puzzle of time a few of them back so you have nearly a hundred or nearly 200 damage solely with decidui gx and my worst after 40 test draws was 40 damage where i could only draw a card and light pulse on the first turn of the game now thanks to decidui's ability past the first turn of the game if you aren't able to knock out your opponent in any way. Uh, Decidueye's ability is very strong and provides consistent damage, and it is also completely immune to Garbodor. Now, you would usually think that a strategy like this is very weak to Garbodor, but with only Trubbish only having 60 HP, the second your opponent plays it down, Decidueye, three Decidueye on the field, or two Decidueye and a Devolution Spray can knock out a Trubbish before your opponent can evolve to Garbodor. There are cards, of course, like Wally and Evo Soda that exist, but they are not played in generic Garbodor variants of the Primal Clash 2 Evolutions format, and they probably will not be played in the Sun and Moon format either. Now, being too fast for Garbodor is another really big plus for this deck. Being able to bypass Trubbish completely, just ignoring it and knocking it out, is fantastic. Now... Devolution Spray really is the core crux of this deck, being able to hit the magic numbers of 170, 180, and like I said, if we go further and we can knock out Megas for 220 and potentially GXs that have 240 or 250. What are the weaknesses of Decidueye? Now, Decidueye potentially does have a few weaknesses. This deck is very prone to consistency, where if you draw badly, 
and if you do not get your cards like your acro bikes, your trainers mails, your level balls, your ultra balls in the early game, you're not going to be able to search through your deck very much and you are only going to be stuck at doing 40 damage on the first turn and not much else. However, in my testing, my worst damage was 40 and I hit that three times in 40 draws. Otherwise, I was able to consistently do 50, 70, 100, and my average, of course, being 130 over 40 draws. So that is a very strong average for a deck like this, being able to knock out things like Evoltel from X and Y and Volcanion from Steam Siege. You can also knock out Shaman EXs if they are active, taking multiple prizes. But your opponent only starting with one Pokemon or potentially two lower HP Pokemon is really what's going to make the difference between you winning and losing a lot of your games. I'm not saying that it's impossible to knock out two EXs on turn one. You would need to hit something ridiculous like 290 where you hit all four of your Puzzle of Times and you have the perfect draw, but you can do it. I've seen it happen. Not myself, my max over 40 draws was 250, but it definitely seems possible. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. I want to know what you think about Decidueye Latios, if you think the deck is going to be very good, if you think it might not, if you think uh, it might be okay, depending on the format.